I've just come down and I think I can hear someone in the kitchen. What are you doing in here? Will you come to see mummy? Hello. Hello gorgeous. You looking for some food? Do you want mummy to get you some food? Okay then. It's hot today, so I have just finished mopping. I did a hell of a lot of the cleaning last night um, while Mark was out, and um, I finished it off today. So that's all the housework done, and I've managed to edit two vlogs. Well, the second one's nearly finished, which will then leave me just two more to do when I get back, and then I am fully up to date. So woohoo! Um, I've managed to put George back outside and to feed him, and he's toddling around, so he's all happy. Um, but uh, we were going to have Becky this weekend, so I actually ordered some things from Georgia Asda um, but for, to collect at the Yarmouth one, because I thought, oh, I'm going to be that way, that would be easier, but then Becky's not come, so I've still got to drive over to Yarmouth to pick up them, but that's fine, because I also want to go to Farm Food to get some um, food shopping, and I also want to pop into Home Bargains to, well, to see what bargains I've got, and to get things like cleaning products and toilet rolls and... Um, Wilkinson's which is next door to farm food is also good for that um, so yeah so we're now going to head off but it's seriously warm the sun keeps coming out and then going back behind the clouds um, but it's really muggy nonetheless let me just see oh it's 28 degrees oh my lordy so I've, I want to cover up my shoulders otherwise I would have had a vest top on um, because the shoulders still look tad pink um, but I don't want to be out too long because like I said I've got things to do at home and I've got so much stuff to go into eBay um, which I hate doing but it's got to be done at some point um, so yeah hopefully we'll get some of that done before going out for dinner with Nan tonight which I'm really excited about but right the more I chat the longer it's going to take to get there so um, it's now one o'clock oh shit originally I wanted to be home by one and it's now 1.02 and we're not even left yet um, so let's just go in and hope to be back by three Shall we do that as a target? Yeah, all right then. Okay, so first stop is Asda to um, take back two packages and also to collect the first one. Well, first errand complete and um, I picked up the parcel, took back the other two um, and in true Emma style obviously picked up some other things. So the first thing is this um, really simple kind of vest top. Um, I'm not sure on the material and the heat, but it's the colour I really like because um, I think it, I'm struggling to find a blue top to go with the um, like the flowery shorts I got from Sainsbury's. Um, so I'm hoping in the package I've just picked up from Asda, actually there was like a jersey one, which I think will be more, one more practical and two, um, I prefer jersey as material and I think that will be better in the heat. But as a backup, we'll try that. Um, and I've also picked up one other thing. So me and Helen were joking last week about there's a trend of ripped jeans and ripped shorts and why would you ever want to pay for a product that's there's only half of it left Helen I'm really sorry I've done the same <laughs> but I really I want a light pair of denim shorts which I did pick up some from um from Primark when I I popped there on Thursday in the city in London um but I do prefer as the shorts because they're slightly thicker so I feel like although they are slightly more expensive they're not so thin um, and I do actually quite like them to go with a t-shirt like this um, so I'll try them, we'll see maybe I can rock the young ripped look but we'll um, we'll see but on so time we're at destination number 2 and that is oh you can't see it home bargain so we'll see what we can find in here whoops, I seem to have picked up far more than I ever intended to Well, I went in there for um, toilet roll, and toilet roll was the one thing I haven't actually come out with. But despite that, I do think it was actually quite a successful trip. The whole thing came to £45, which I didn't think was too bad. And um, I've got some cleaner products, I've got kitchen roll, which I needed. I've got quite a few toiletries and loads of sun cream. Um, so I don't, I should be okay for the summer now. I've um, also got some sugar-free cookies um, for Mark's dad for 
Um, Father's Day, he has already got a present, but hey ho, they should get by. But the other things I also picked up was one, my favourite red liquid, which was like 70p. Normally it's like £1, £1.50 in Tesco, so yeah, super pleased with that. I've got a whole load of protein shakes, um, and these are normally mega expensive. They're normally like two, two pound fifty in the shops. These are seventy p each, so I picked up six, and I'm now about to have one as my lunch. Um, but the other bit, I'm really pleased. I was debating on whether we have a barbecue the day after Mark's surprise party because um, Charlie's down, Jack and Alex are down, um, and kind of just a hangover get together like we loved it after the wedding how everyone you could kind of swap stories the day after and that was always the best bit of uni and that's always been the things that me and mark have always loved um but they did these kind of things in here so these are like hot dog um trays I've got burger trays and then in the back i've also got um some fry trays and like the greaseproof paper as well and some bunting so yeah i think we're definitely having a barbecue the day after now and i can't wait it's going to be like totes of maize balls man i'm so hot and sticky and shiny oh um being home for three and then being able to relax in the garden is slowly disappearing before my eyes however i am now done and it's half past three um so i've done farm foods i quickly nipped into wilco next door see if they had any offers on cleaning products which they didn't really um i've got a deodorant which i did need anyhow not just because of today um i picked up a whiteboard for work and what else did i get oh and did to get some more sun cream actually um but saying that it will last um, and sun cream is so expensive that when I actually see it for a reasonable price then I do like to get it um, but that's it now it's, so it's half past three so I should be home for four that's it then time to relax in the garden unpack all the stuff relax in the garden um, and do some more work there but at least I'll then be home this is everything else I just picked up straight across the bed so I tried on these shorts they didn't fit at all um but I wasn't actually keen on the rips when I got them up anyhow you'll be pleased to see Helen um this was the other top I got thinking that might go with the shorts but these sleeves really don't sit right on me so there's the blue one and I got a white one too so that's going um this is really nasty material I don't know if you see it, it almost is like swimming costume material I thought it was just going to be jersey, so no, that's going back. That's far brighter than what was on the website, so again, that's going back. Um, but one thing I am keeping is this Cherry Coke t-shirt. It's quite thick material, so it might be a bit hot, but I think that's really, really cute. Um, and also, I have these, woo, like, swing vests i don't know if i can show them um i'm gonna try one on with the shorts so i should try uh show you in a second you have to excuse um the mess on the floor and such like but these are the shorts i was on about um and this is a top i just picked up uh, around still what do you think does it go i mean that's it tucked in and then you could obviously always come on have it loose as well I like that actually I think that goes I think that goes all right for a fiver and it's quite I like the color I might even wear it tonight we will see and then we also got these swing vests as well which actually this is exactly what I intended on wearing with these shorts so this is a navy I also got it in a black but again what do you think I think this goes I do quite like the bright blue, but maybe that's more of an evening-y thing rather than like a day thing. Again, you can tuck it in if you wanted or have it longer, but for two for six quid, you can't go wrong.
morning and I can hear you even asking to what do we owe this pleasure of this delightful sight on a Sunday. Um, well happy Father's Day first and foremost for any fathers out there. Um, but we are off to help um, my mum cut some hedges before going round to Mark's parents for a barbecue later. What a hot day it's been, as you can see from my um, shiny face. So we helped mum this morning, as you saw, um, and then we went over to Mark's parents for a barbecue, which was lovely. Um, and I managed to sit out in the sun, so very enjoyed, but I do feel all hot and sticky and grubby and ugh now. So I'm now running a bath, although a fairly lukewarm one, because I'm so hot at the moment. So, so hot. Um, I'm off to London again in the morning, and I'm on a really early train. I'm on the 8am train, but I still got to pick up my tickets. Um, so I need to ideally leave the house around seven just to make sure I get parked, and then no stresses, just um, go straight through. So I'm hoping to try and get everything as ready as I can this evening. So I'm going to sign off for tonight um, now, and I will see you tomorrow. morning so i am off to london again it is a beautiful day um so i actually have a dress on so i'm hoping that's gonna be okay i have a jacket as well because i tend to get pretty cold on the train um but i'm actually relatively on time it's half past seven in the morning i'm on the eight o'clock train i just need to pick up my tickets first um I had a shower last night and did my hair then and slept on it. I think it's actually turned out pretty well. I might do this more often. Less faff. Hair's turned out alright. Everyone is a winner so far. See people say London's dirty but look how beautiful this place is in the sunlight. Meeting done. So I'm now heading off to Holborn Station and then off to Oxford Street because it'd be rude not to go into Marble Arch Primark before I go. But it is now ten past three. I aim to be in Primark by half past three and leaving there by quarter past four, and I'm letting you hold me to it. Oh yes, and at 3.29, I made it. Ooh, in and out in 35 minutes. So now to Liverpool Street to get home, but I know there's been some disruption due to the heat today. So I'm hoping that I've still got a train, but we will see. That was hot to the point where I'd sweat when I'd done my legs. So I'm not ashamed to say. Oh my god, on all my makeup is smudged. <sighs> that was horrendous. Um, and likewise, so is the train station. Hardly anyone's got any trains, it's just manic because of all the heat. Um, so I'm now going to go and get a frappuccino because my train's not for half an hour and I'm hoping by that point I will have a train. I'll keep you updated. This is So I'm now being put onto the half past five train, so that means we've got about 50 minutes. So I'm actually going to go and sit outside because it is roasting in here. But um, Grey Triangular did give me a bottle of water. Thanks! <laughs> OMG! The time is now 10 to 9. I should have been due in at 7 o'clock um, and I've just this second got back into the car um, so I did manage to get on the half past five train uh, technically speaking it didn't actually pull into the station until quarter to six 
um, by the time we then got on the train it was 10 to 6 and then we had another half an hour delay Ben man you also had three trains worth of people on there so the half past four had already been cancelled the five o'clock I was should have been on was cancelled and then so you had those two trains worth of people plus the people who were meant to be on the half past five train all crammed into one train so I was ended up sat on the floor in between the toilet and the bin um, and then there was another signal failure so we then had to sit for another 45 minutes in the blistering heat it's not been a great journey home um, Mark has got home about 20 minutes ago I understand um, and he fancies some Chinese so that is then now what I'm going to pick up on my way back and sod the diet I'm hungry I'm hot I feel icky and sticky and yucky uh, I just want to get home now. <laughs> now so um i didn't film my meal with lou purely because i forgot <laughs> um but the event was good and as per always ended up chatting to lou for so long we've actually just been chucked out of the restaurant because it's 10 o'clock at night and she's now got to drive back to Hampshire. but oops and i had such a good time such a good catch up really nice to see her um, but now I need to head back to the car and I've still got a pack for the weekend yet um, and it's 10 o'clock now way past my bedtime but the meal was nice it was more than it was more nice just to catch up with Lou to be honest have a good old gossip um, she's been a really good friend so I'm very very lucky but yeah let's go find the car hello so finally finished packing it is uh, what time is it midnight three minutes to midnight <laughs> and I finally just about finished packing I'm now about to set my makeup off I'm gonna have a quick read of my book to try and um, settle down I'm actually really enjoying this book so it's quite nice um we had a great event at the Urban Decay or a great time at the Urban Decay event even so I was just going to open this and show you what we got So let's see if we can do this one hand at half. I'm just going to end up ruining all of the packaging. So sorry, Jessica. Ha <laughs> ha. So we have uh, Open Decay All Night Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And I've heard really good things about this. I really could have done with this today actually because my makeup has gone everywhere. So we'll take that with us this weekend actually because that will be really really useful. It's basically it keeps your makeup in place all day is the fixer. You put it on after you've put on your makeup. Um, and then we've also got some samples here. So we've got the Glam Glow Hydrating Face Mask. Again I've heard really good things about this so perhaps I'll need this on Sunday night after a busy weekend. Um, 
We've got an Urban Decay black eyeliner, which I'm excited to try that. Again, I've heard really good things, so I'll probably take that with me this weekend. Um, we have a Givenchy perfume sample. Always love a bit of perfume. And likewise, we've also got a Victor Rolf perfume sample. So, yeah, really, really lucky. But most of all, mega excited to try this. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. While I was there, I also, um, I've booked a contouring lesson for the 8th of July. So they're going to teach me how to contour. But the girl who's actually doing it, her name is Jessica. She is um, fair skinned as well. And she prefers actually building up on the blusher. Um, which I think is going to be more my look. So yeah, looking forward to that. So all in all, a good night. And then topped off with a massive catch up with Louise. Which was just amazing. She's just such a nice girl. Thank you.